Hi everyone, Eileen here from the design team. Guess what? I've got another video tutorial for you. An abstract Nuf. <laughs> yes, I'm featuring Nuf today. I just love this cat. Along with a super stencil called Dynamic and a homemade designer background. Get me. I'm using a few archival inks, my sand eraser and the word stamp art from the Inspire Me set from Lavinia Stamps. So I hope that you find this fun to create and thanks for being with me today. I have a piece of multifarious cardstock in white, 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres. And I've also got one of the moon masks uh, from Lavinia Stamps and I'm not using the moon itself I'm using the straight edge so if you haven't got one of these you can use a credit card you could use a ruler if you've got one of the sweet poppy stencil spreaders you could use that anything to give you a straight edge popping that down and uh, I'm using makeup brushes today because my normal Lavinia stencil brushes are full of ink and I've just washed these and I don't want there to be too much of a vivid background. So my makeup brushes are all clean and I'll be able to um, not have so much ink on the surface. Archival inks in red geranium, orange blossom, cornflower blue, my favourite colours, I come back to these time and time again. But throwing in for good measure today, chrome yellow. Thought I'd add a bit of that. Have a splash. Right, starting off with cornflower blue, blue makeup brush, small one. Use any brushes that you like or any tool that you uh, apply ink with that will give you a nice blended edge. Just adding a few lines, different angles, twist and turn, some straight, vertical, some horizontal, whatever you like. Try and leave a bit of white space all around the edges of the card though. So I'm just concentrating on the middle. Turning the card round as I go, give you a different perspective. Don't worry about any bits of ink anywhere because you're going to use an eraser on this anyway. So that's blue for now. Let's go on to orange, orange blossom. Again, just random, just random lines here and there. Don't, don't think about it. Just twist, turn, angles. You're just filling up the background. This makes it totally designer because you're never going to do the same one twice. All right, and again there. Just got a lot of um, abstract shapes. So that's orange, red geranium. Now this is quite a wet pad, so I really don't want to go mad with this one. It's a new, new ink pad and it can overpower. So very gently, I've got a loose wrist. I'm not putting any pressure on the head of the brush. Just kissing the surface of the cardstock and the plastic of the moon mask. And there, and there. Not re-inking a lot because it's um, it will be too overpowering. All right, so lots of red there. I want a bit more blue here. So in comes the blue again. And a few more angles rather than straight lines up and down. Yeah, that's good. And then last but not least, chrome yellow. A 
And this, of course, these are transparent, these colours, so you'll be able to see the inks are permanent, archival, but they're also transparent. So you will see the other colours underneath and they will blend with each other up to a point as well. So uh, yellow and blue will give me a bit of green tones, which is always great. You get different tones, different shades. Right, that will do me. So I've got quite a large area covered with this abstract design. And now you're going to add another layer by taking some of the ink away. And I'm using my Tombow sand eraser, Tombow mono sand eraser. And the code number for this is 512A. And uh, this is for ink. And I bought uh, my sand erasers because I've got loads uh, from Colt Pens in London, mail order. But they're all over the place. Uh, Amazon, you can get them in loads of different places. So just Google it. And uh, But I found it's been absolutely ideal for all the work that I do and works especially well on multifarious cardstock. And this is a quality card and it really takes some punishment from this eraser and it's just going to have a bit more. So to add interest, I'm going to take some of the ink out in lines and using a cheap do-it-yourself brush to get rid of all the rubbish from the eraser you will see that it adds dimension to your work I'm going for quite broad strokes of the eraser up and down the patterns that I've already put down don't overdo it. I mean, you want some ink left. <laughs> but you'll see that it gives it a whole different look. New look. Stop when you're happy. And I'm happy now. I think that I've... Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I've got a bit more there, I think. And then a little more there. And there. I think that I'm happy with that. So that's another layer of interest. Next, I'm going to use my Misty and it's already set up because obviously I created this card and I use my Misty to stamp. So I know that is in the area that I want it to be. So I'm going to have a slurp of coffee. And if you're working along with me, it will give you an opportunity to set up and position Nuf in the area on the card. Basically, he's slap bang right in the middle. So that when I turn him over, he's in the middle of that card. So I've butted up against the side and the bottom. And I'm just going to ink up with Versifying Clear Nocturne after another slurp or two of my cappuccino. So Versifying Clear Nocturne, this is a, a inky pad. I've re-inked it. Not recently, I must admit, about a fortnight ago, I think. Takes a fair bit of time to make sure he's properly covered. He's a large stamp, as you know. should do it. I've got a bit of surplus ink around the outside that I want to take off with a cloth and then over we go. And then I've got one of these pressure tool things, don't know what they're really called but this is brilliant. So 
saves my hands. Should be okay with that. Let's have a look. Oh yes, he's glorious. Look at that. Fantastic. That's out of the way. And then I'm going to put a bit more colour back inside of his tummy area with a stencil. Just to add some more interest, I've got this dynamic stencil pop that down and using blue and the red these are archival inks still i'm just using this the surplus ink that's still on the brushes so a bit of blue i think down here like so and then a tiny bit of red. This can be overpowering, so I don't want it to be too vivid. And as they meet, they sort of get a mauve or purple tinge. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that's good. Overdone it here, so no problem. And I've got some marks here. So I'm just going to get rid of the marks first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the marks are from my fingers touching the black ink so if you want to I would suggest that you give Noof a quick blast with a heat gun before you attempt this where's my brush there it is and then I want to take a little bit more out of one of the lines that's underneath because that was impacting on the stenciled area and it looked a bit odd that blue line so now I'm going to just gently remove some of the colour from the stencil as well just to take it down knock it back so you can see it but it isn't glaringly obvious in your face like so now I'm going to take a tiny amount from the yellow brush, just very gently bring some of the colour up again, just gently. And if you're happy with the amount of colour you've got in the middle of Noof there, and you don't want to add any more, then obviously it's your choice. But he was just looking a little bit too white in the middle. More interest going on with a gold pen. Just going to highlight some of the patterning from the stencil. Bring that up. So you've got, or I've got, um, this stencil has got some areas where it's quite a bold colour and other areas where I've just faded it out, especially with that eraser. So it's just got fade away and it, it looks, um, looks quite good. I'm pleased with it. So that, if you can see, there's a bring it up. So you can see the gold on him there. That looks quite good. Now this I'm finding jarring. So I'm knocking that back a bit. Fade that away into the background. This I'm finding a bit jarring as well. So if you've got any areas at all or ugly spots, then use your eraser to knock it back into the background. And that goes for fingerprints as well. <laughs> I've always got those everywhere. Okay. Then, 
He's a bit paler than the original one. I think I prefer my original one, but horses for courses. It's still I'm still pleased with it. Um, art. The word art from from this set. This set is fantastic. Inspire me. Now I've got two sets of this, which is why you're seeing all these stamps. But if I take out the second set, this is what you get for your money. So we've got, take that out and that out and that one out. Right. This set consists of Inspire, Dream, Art and Love. So you get four stamps. And uh, I'm using the word art. But because I'm greedy and I've got two sets, <laughs> I inherited one from somewhere. I don't know where I inherited it from, but. I never say no. If someone says to me, do you want some Lavinia stamps? Oh, yes. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm using the red, uh, carn red geranium from Archival Inks for this. It's a new pad, so I know that it's going to give me good coverage. I'm just going to use my stamp pad here. Oh, look. Uh-oh. Back comes the eraser again. That will teach me. And I'm just going to pop down the word art up the side here. Try and make sure it's straight. Like so. Let the ink soak in. And then it's down and up. Yes, that's not bad. So let's get rid of these two bits here. Make sure my fingers are clean. And this one. I'm being quite forceful here, really giving it some welly. But it seems to take it. so right I'm quite happy with that could do maybe with a bit more color in that area I, I took out too much so let's see if I can put some back in so where is my mask again mm -hmm. there it is so I've got the mask again now there's quite a bit of color here but it's Mm, it needs maybe a bit more colour there again. So I'm just very lightly going to take, just pop some colour back down here. And then a bit of yellow maybe. Just twist it around again. See, it's always playtime, isn't it? Don't like what you see? And you can always play and put it back in. I want a bit more red on that. Oh, now that's overdone it. <laughs> okay, so we take it back out again then. But not all of it. Yeah, that's better. So you can sort of fiddle, can't you? And I do. <gasps> Too much. And sometimes the fiddling goes so far it lands up in the bin. But it's only a bit of card. It's a bit of card, ink, and the joy of keeping your head in a good place. That's what I think of this hobby of ours. Like so. So I've added a bit more colour there. Now, finish off, clearing up, black Sharpie, um, where did I put you? That's hiding. Fortunately, I've got a few thousand of these, so <laughs> I can always lay my hands on another one. Right, clean fingers. 
down, one, two, three, four, take that away, clean the decks, clean card, and that is one that I've done, and this is the one that I've just completed and that's the one that I made earlier and all I did was to cut myself a card blank in exactly the same size 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters and just glued this one topper on top of it and that gave me a tenfold card which you know I like so that is enough now this here hasn't come out so well as that so I want to add a bit more colour back in. Yeah, I know. You can go now if you want to. It's just that I'm a bit fussy about this. <laughs> so I'm looking for a red crayon. That's purple. That isn't going to do any good. Um... Oh, it's red, but it's quite bright. So I'm just going to fill in. Oh, that's not bad. Just going, it's this R and part of the A. It was just not quite bright enough. The T maybe could do with a bit of help as well. That's better. So I'm all done now, I think. What do you reckon? I think I like the configuration of this one better. It's got more of a pattern underneath it. But I'll be interested to see all of yours. So have fun. Please share what you do with me. And I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Have a good week.